So, welcome in Munich, Mrs. Thank you. Lully. Thank you. Uh, we are at the Siemens Foundation, where you will give a talk. And I know from my experience, only very successful people in physics can give talks here at the Siemens Foundation. Um, you are an expert in laser physics, and uh, if I understood well, you're well at the cutting edge of of uh, laser developments such as uh, generating high harmonics. Mm -hmm. That means uh, very very short wavelength of lasers, and uh, your field uh, is also called attosecond physics. That means um, 10 to the 18th of a little little fraction of a second. Well, I would just a little bit uh, to know what your what your plans are for a general audience, or what do you think in general, what your field can achieve, be it in technology or be it in fundamental physics? I think um, um, the goal is, um, is very much uh, fundamental physics mm -hmm. uh, so far. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, this is how laser physics has progressed all along, mm -hmm. pushed by uh, fundamental physics. And, and this mm -hmm. is really uh, this is my um, um, point of view, my, my drive. <laughs> Your interest. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I but I, I mean, the, the, um, there are applications um, which are arising. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, this field is not too far from applications. Mm -hmm. And we are uh, actually uh, collaborating with um, I industry for, for mm -hmm. some aspect of, uh, of mm -hmm. uh, for using this radiation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, this is not what I will discuss tonight, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, the yeah. the it's not too far from application. Mm -hmm. But it's really driven by yeah. fundamental physics. Yeah, yeah. What came to my mind, if you talk briefly about applications, what came to my mind as a final goal, maybe a dream, um, we, have a, we have very short uh, wavelengths, so could we arrive at, say, um, an X-ray laser who potentially could get rid of uh, nuclear waste that that time would that be a far goal yeah. of possibly achievable goal? Yeah, I'm not sure this is the the right goal for this type uh -huh. of radiation. Okay, I think no, this is too, any too any uh, far away. Discussion, but, uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, no, I. Uh, there are or may maybe even depositing very uh, huge amounts of energy to arrive at, at uh, fusion. Uh, would that N be? No. No. no, no. I think there no. are other um, other methods to mm -hmm. uh, to go in that direction. The, the radiation that we uh, produce is is not very strong in in intensity. I see. Mm -hmm. uh, so no, I, I think the application are more related to uh, imaging. Mm -hmm. Small things mm -hmm. with coherent light. Keeping track of, of uh, something like chemical reactions. Or so no, no, whatever. imaging uh, even uh, uh, nanostructures or mm -hmm. these kind of things. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, th other applications are, are in, um, in, in the field of chemistry reactions, yes. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Controlling the beginning of, mm -hmm. of uh, mm -hmm. uh, chemical reaction or something like that. So you're saying you're not in, in that high field regime where you can maybe hope for arrive one day at the Schwinger limit of producing electron positron pairs. No. That would, 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 but that would be other fields of laser physics, just not your particular. Th this is um, yeah. high intensity laser mm -hmm. physics, mm -hmm. which is, uh, of course, a very related and close field, but mm -hmm. uh, it's not, uh, this mm -hmm. is not what we are doing. No. Mm -hmm. Your short time, you're focusing on, on short, short time, time scale, and, yeah. and uh, these high harmonics, yeah. like the, something like the 40th harmon harmonic of an. I mean, you c you can go even mm. higher, and mm -hmm. if you use a, a um, fundamental radiation in the mid infrared, mm -hmm. then then you can go into the soft X-ray range, maybe mm -hmm. 500 mm -hmm. eV or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. But this is not very strong radiation. Okay. Okay. It's. Uh -huh. uh, High photon energy, but not so many photons per pulse. Okay, I see. So you've held, I think you have held the world record one time, even for the shortest pulse, something like 170 attoseconds. Yeah, that's a Wikipedia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, do you think there is something like uh, Moore's law that 
that uh, continuous, um, uh, well, could we arrive at, at continuously at shorter wavelength, or is there any principal limit that prohibits to go shorter than, I don't know, 10 to the minus 20 seconds or something? Or well, um, the, the, I think the record now is about 50 at a second, or mm -hmm. slightly below. Mm -hmm. um, there is no really fundamental limit. Uh, mm -hmm. The problem is you need the broad bandwidth, mm -hmm. and then you need uh, to have all the frequency components in that bandwidth mm -hmm. uh, in phase, phase mm -hmm. locked. Mm -hmm. And this is where the difficulty is. I see. So there is no fundamental limit, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, it's there are limitations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, I think we can go uh, probably below uh, we can probably go down to tens of uh, at a second or something okay. like that with okay. the same technique. Mm -hmm. But the problem is to have all of these frequency components in phase, I mean, mm -hmm. phase with each other. Mm -hmm. Only the then difficulty. it works for the short yeah. pulse. Uh -huh. yeah. So I, I think it's, it's, uh, we are still away from, from, from that range, but if you go to shorter and shorter scales, I mean, now are you something like a couple of hundreds of diameters of an atom? Yeah. Do you think something fundamental would happen if you reduce the the, sh the laser pools to the size of an atom, or or could we maybe use huge atoms to see something like that? Yeah, I mean, you you I don't think this um, this this play a role. This this radiation is is a beam, mm -hmm. and and um, and then of course we we have a. We are limited by a diffraction limit. If you mm -hmm. want to uh, to uh, illuminate um, atoms, mm -hmm. uh, so and, and this is still much much higher than the size of the atom. So mm -hmm. uh, illuminating individual atoms, no. Mm -hmm. You don't expect no, no. something particular. No, 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 no. 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 Okay. You're a well-known researcher, and you have also a great, obviously, a great recognition because you were. Uh, a member of the Nobel Committee of Physics for uh, quite a long time, and even the chairman, if I yeah. again took the information from Wikipedia. <laughs> that's, that's right, I don't know, you from 2010, or was it even earlier? It was from 2007 to 2015, nine, 15. nine years. Nine years, and the yeah. last two years you have even been the chairman. The last year. Yeah. Um, you don't need to be recognized to be part of the committee. You, you, uh, it's we. I'm part of the Swedish, uh, mm -hmm. the Royal Academy of Science mm -hmm. in Sweden, and uh, this is part of uh, one uh, very interesting uh, role of this academy is to mm -hmm. give the Nobel Prize mm -hmm. um, in physics mm -hmm. and chemistry. Mm -hmm. uh, so when you're part of the of the class of physics mm -hmm. <laughs> at this academy, um, there is a high chance or risk that, that, later that you, 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 you part you of the committee. The committee. Yeah. Uh, okay. And okay. do and do this mm -hmm. this but work it's, for it's the an committee. Election, or is it regular? Or it's an election to become part of the mm -hmm. academy, and it's also an election to be part of the committee. Yes. I see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there are how many people in there? Five or it's seven? Or it's it varies a little bit, but between five and seven, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's all. The I I don't know if if the academy publishes the the how how much time each member spent there. So, but I I just noted one thing that in two thousand fifteen there was a huge replacement. I mean, kind of four people left and others people coming in, and you became the chairman. Was was no, that unusual or? No, no. It's a complicated uh, procedure. The 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 with um, election every three years, mm -hmm. uh, you're a member for three years, and you can be a joint member just for one year, and you cannot be too old, mm -hmm. and the maximum time is nine years, which is what I did. Mm -hmm. So it's a complicated mm -hmm. procedure, and mm -hmm. it can happen that some year there are many new coming in but um, mm -hmm. th the idea is to uh, um, to have it takes a long time to um, uh, to uh, get in the work mm -hmm. so uh, the idea is you, you yeah. do that for several years mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. how difficult was this to evaluate other fields of physics or, or how 
how do other people evaluate your field of which is quantum opti optics, which got also some Nobel prizes? How does that work? I'm not supposed to say very much because it's uh, <laughs> yeah, it's I know. a bit You're secret. You're not supposed to say anything on the, on the nomination, uh, yeah. I know. But I mean, I, I mean just imagine it's difficult for uh, because physics is specialized, you know. I mean, for to to enter in the discussion or in the judgment. Or it's a uh, it's a very difficult uh, um, work. I mm -hmm. mean, I, I spend um, a lot of time doing that. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, I mean, of course, we we are asking ex for expertise. Mm -hmm. So we're not working alone. The committee will ask mm -hmm. expertise uh, in the international community to help mm -hmm. us judge mm -hmm. some uh, research fields. Mm -hmm. But uh, yes, it requires that you really dig into uh, fields of research which, has, which are not your own. So this mm -hmm. is why it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's really a part-time job. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but you found that satisfactory also. Yeah, it's very interesting. Uh, mm -hmm. It's it's very interesting uh, mm -hmm. work, of course, mm -hmm. um, and it's um, I think it's 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 good uh, w that it should be done uh, very well, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, so we have a high pressure to continue uh, trying not to make too many mistakes and mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. choose uh, good prices. Not too many, I mean. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and and uh, so uh, but. Uh, at the same time, uh, when this was uh, over, I was also happy. Okay, now I, I can mm -hmm. do something you else. You can reconcentrate on, again on, on research. Your, on your focus of research. So it was. I suspected a little bit maybe you could be among the nominees, and so you you're supposed to go out of the committee, of course, if you're deciding on your own field. But that was not the reason, because you said no. you did the maximum. No, no, this was the yeah. maximum, uh, maximum time. time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, maybe last. Uh, thought. I mean, what drives you to to become a physicist, or, or what what in your in your life, maybe in your early life, your first experiences. Sometimes there are some crucial things that happen that make you make you decide what you're going to do in your life. Or is there anything you want to mention? Yeah, I can mention um, two things. Uh, one thing is a little bit family history. My mm -hmm. my grandfather. Uh, was a researcher in uh, actually electrical engineering in radio, mm -hmm. and uh, he died when I was four or five. So I don't remember him mm -hmm. very well, but it's some kind of mm -hmm. um, yeah history in the family, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. uh, made me want to uh, um, to do research. Mm -hmm. And then uh, th something that uh, struck me very very much. Uh, when I was a child, was uh, landing on the moon was okay. was really uh, yeah. I was ten. Yeah, I remember that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was uh, ten or and uh, eleven, <laughs> and uh, I I remember that very well. I mean, it mm -hmm. really pushes uh, mm -hmm. me a little bit towards science mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. technical mm -hmm. field. Yeah, Actually, technical we were field. using lasers to measure the distance to the moon. Yeah. That's a consequence yeah. of that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, and then I mean I, I I was more interested by uh, mathematics, physics uh, mm -hmm. than by other fields. So mm -hmm. this is what I did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for this insightful remarks, yeah, and thank uh, you. hope you have a good time. Yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you very much.